welcome to a brand new episode here on Britain's Farm. So, today, we've got a few jobs to do. Millet is probably but a month away now from uh, being ready to harvest. Our mustard is now ready to harvest. Um, so that's a job that uh, we need to be getting on with this month. But first off, what we need to do is, is get the sprayer off this tractor. We need to probably put it in the shed somewhere down there. Let's have a little look. <clears throat> and then, uh, yeah, we can put it in there for now because the combine's not... Oh, there's a deer in there. And, uh, but yeah, put it in there for now uh, just because the combine's going to be out for a, a little while. Just uh, while we harvest our crops. And then uh, we need to go to the store and fetch our new baler so I, I did in the end decide to buy a new baler and we're going to sell this one and I have moved from a round baler to the square baler because uh, and, I, and I promise you I didn't set it up I literally was thinking about changing the baler uh, I'd said it a few videos ago uh, that uh, it sort of annoyed me that this baler missed because it's offset it's very hard to sort of guide it round um you know corners to pick up all the straw or hay or whatever it is that we're baling and so i sort of thought about changing the baler and then in the last episode when we got the um, wheat and the oats cup i uh, again mentioned and said you know i wouldn't mind a new baler i had a look in the um in the uh, sales uh, department in the shop and uh there was a new, there was a baler, a John Deere square baler that um, I had from Ertl. Uh So uh, that's that's what we've sort of gone with. Um, but like I say, I, I didn't, I genuinely didn't set that up. Uh, that just happened to be right place, right time uh, in terms of that baler. But um, so you know, we will uh, take full advantage of that one, of course. Um, because, uh, as I say, we need a new baler. So we're going to take this off, and then um, we'll go get that other baler, and then we will take that to to sell, and then um, we will then get the new one on, and then get the straw baled. Um, so hopefully uh, we'll get that done today as I say the the mustard needs combining now uh, so uh, we uh, we can get on with that later today uh, and then we can get that bailed as well oh no that doesn't actually have um, straw trail why is that not giving me the so this is what I mean, I keep forgetting it's offset. <laughs> it wouldn't be so bad if you like if you could just sort of move it in a little bit or you know, sort of whatever, like you know, but getting through places oh I might not get through there. I might not get through there. We all know what my judgment oh no, there's a miles room there. Uh yeah, so um as I say and then we can uh, get that mustard harvested then get the bales collected uh, and then uh, we can start looking at um, winter prep then and uh, getting ready to start planting and drilling for next year um, we'll have mustard again I think uh, might even put it in those two fields there uh, although original plan for those two was they were going to come um, canola uh, but I will also have a, a big field as well uh, available oh, I've left the bloody combine in the field never mind it's it's it's, it's uh, no wheel store just there um, as I say we'll get the uh, <clears throat> excuse me we'll get the uh, baler we'll get that uh, sorted and then um, time to move the combine over then to that mustard field and then we'll have the millet fields as well uh, in September but by then we'll also be looking uh, hopefully having the ground ready to uh, harvest to so say we've got that big um, 
uh, grass field as well that I need to get cut again for a second time and it's going to sell the bales again um, and then uh, we need to get that ploughed over and then that also uh, drilled and that's the one that uh, I was originally planning to have mustard because um, it's a decent sized field and, and we also own the little field next to it and so it might be worth taking out the the little wall and fence and making that one big field uh, and then when we buy the other two grass fields that back onto that one then we'll have like an, a, a humongous field right bang in the middle of um, the farm and uh, as I say we'll you know that will uh, be enough crop in one field for the year so rather than having to plant two maybe three fields of something to you know to get a harvest from it um, we'll be able to um, to just have one field of it and then we can have a couple of fields then like you know other crops as well then so yeah plans are afoot but uh, as I say we've, we've got a lot to do actually this year uh, on the farm uh, as I say I want to um, to expand uh, the farm that doesn't sell itself does it I have to go to the trigger well it's been a lovely baler I've really enjoyed using it to be fair um, but uh, I think the farm has moved on I think time has probably moved on and uh, everything reaches the end I suppose and uh, for that baler it's the end of Britain's farm goodbye old friend <laughs> so uh, yeah we'll uh, we'll sell that how much we're we gonna get we're gonna get 1265 for it how about that beautiful job so we'll get this on and then um, we will get uh, we will then get um, get busy bailing because it's 709 in the morning and the day is already already rapidly passing us by so we'll get some uh, get some bailing done and then uh, as I say we'll probably get them collected and then we'll go and get that mustard harvested and then we need to start thinking about winter uh, we've got that grass field again to cut um, and uh, to bale um, I'll, I wouldn't mind doing silage but I've got no way to do silage just because back in the day on Britain's farm and, and different things um, there was no bale wrappers or anything like that I, I, you know at a push I guess I could sort of say well you know out of two bits of wool three bits of wood we made a silage clamp you know but I sort of didn't do that when I was younger so therefore it doesn't feel right to do it in the game um, you know so I, it's it's kind of you know what do I do because I want to do silage but yeah there you know on uh, Britain's farm there was no way of doing silage sort of thing like you know there, there, there was no way to do it uh, we will have to just take the combine over to the other side because we might as well start here so we'll uh, jump in the combine and move it over and say so we've got four fields to uh, to move actually we'll put the auger in as well I don't want to knock that off Uh, that's just a bit of grass over there so we can uh, go over here and so we'll put it in the yard we'll put it just this side because we, we can go via the grass field and round um, so we haven't got to worry about having the header on trying to get through that gap uh, as I say we get the mustard uh, gone and then um,
get this grass gone uh, and uh, sold and then turn the engine off save some diesel and then once we get this bailed and cleared I think what we'll do is we'll get the disc arrow in here we'll just level it off and chop up the stubble and then we need to start thinking about right let's get prepared so probably going to need an excavator because you know farm builds are not done instantly like they are in farm simulators so we'll get the uh, excavator what we'll do is we will then uh, come here level here on the road and then level it all off and then once we've leveled it all off there will be quite a bit of soil to be fair but um you know i'm sure we can find something to do with the soil uh but we'll get it all leveled off and then we'll start the build um might actually thinking about it might want to just keep that tram line in just so as i've got a guide because i want to sort of divide it so sort of one half is farmyard and then second half is animals um because we want a dairy in here um want some pigs so i want some dairy want some pigs and uh yeah we've got the sheep that's sorted going around where am i oh there we go i lost my bearings there for a second <laughs> <laughs> it's got a where am I? Um, yeah, so we want some uh, dairy, we want some pigs, uh, probably get some horses. I had horses back on the day on the Britain's farm, you could buy the little model horses. We'll get out of the road before we get run over. And uh, as I say, we'll get this bailed. And uh, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to time lapse this. So I'll leave you with some lovely music. And uh, you can tell it's definitely second hand, um, but that doesn't matter. It will do. It will do a job. Uh, yeah, so I'll leave you with some music and I'll meet you at the end. Bye for now.
Silhouettes of you are like a taunt Never really know just what you want With you I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palms Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever wanna give me wings You don't ever wanna set me free You know I'm addicted to you And it's twisted you've been gifted with the evil voodoo Got me coming back for more even when I've been screwed Dolls full of pins, pierce my heart straight through Got issues in my head I like you in my bed But you keep me on red Oh, everything is like a test I better not text or I'll come off desperate But if I lay you down and I play dead And I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something out of my Dead. Will you regret everything that you did, that you said I don't think you understand what you're doing And my heart's black and blue from the bruising I feel like when I'm with you I'm losing I feel like you think that this amusing Sitting there gaslighting and confusing Was it me, is it me, am I deluded? I'm the one who's always sorry, the conclusion Even though I offer all of the solutions I wish you loved me like I love you, it's stupid When I'm alone with you, I never feel lucid I wish I wasn't struck by Cupid I wish when I first saw you, I knew this When I'm with you, I feel so useless I feel diluted, my heart's been wounded Silhouettes of you are like a dawn Never really noticed what you want with you, I don't ever feel calm I can feel the sweat inside my palm Play with me like cats and a string You don't understand the pain it brings You don't ever want to give me wings You don't ever want to set me free But if I lay you down and I play dead and I stay dead Baby, you'll get sick of being the monster Out of my head, under my bed Think you're something
and I'm back. So that's the baling done. It's 11.48 now in the uh, day on Britain's farm and uh, I think what we'll do next is we'll get that uh, mustard combine and then we'll get um, those bales collected. Um, <clears throat> and then once we get them collected they need to go to uh, to um, uh, probably not going to get that in there James. We need to take them to Richard's uh, other farm. Uh, we've got a, a a job for them. I told Richard that I was buying a square baler and he sort of looked at me and smiled in a very kind of this is all coming together kind of way and I said what, what's the matter and he goes um, I need you to take those bales to my other farm. Uh, we can reuse the bales thereafter but I need you to take those bales to the other farm so I was like okay fair enough. Um, so I have no idea why because he didn't say but but um, <clears throat> that's what we're doing we're taking them to to his arable farm but as I say we'll get into the combine and um, we'll go off now and uh, harvest that mustard and then uh, we've just got to wait then till September until our uh, millet uh, comes available but this is where I'm thinking about driving down either this one or this one probably this one actually uh, just to give me a little bit more room with the farm but farm on that side of the tram lines and then on this side of the tram lines we'll put some animal pens probably have them uh, well I don't know to be fair I was going to say have them facing this way but however they fit but um, it will make an interesting shape um, and uh, also as well it will be quite interesting to see how we get the animals in there but uh, that's uh, a little bit later on so yeah, successful day bailing. Took me a, a minute or two to figure out how to fill the uh, time uh, the time in it, um, but um, we figured it out and we got there in the end. So uh, <clears throat> yeah, all is good. So as I say, that will be it for this episode. Thanks ever so much for joining me. I've really had your company on this. I've really enjoyed having your company on this episode. I hope you join me again next time. If you haven't already, don't forget to like, comment and subscribe and share the video if that's what you want to do. And I'll see you next time. Bye for now.